Well, we take a little look out this morning and we can see that a couple of the babies are out there. All three of them were out there a little bit earlier and I didn't have to tell my phone, but I grabbed my phone and looked and the babies are out waiting on their breakfast. We'll go out there and feed them just a little bit. We got turkeys around, the white deer are out running around. There was quite a few turkeys around. There's deer scattered a little bit everywhere. There's a turkey. We got in yesterday before dark. I parked my my truck. You look off over there. There's more turkeys around over there. I think there's about five turkeys out there this morning all together. We'll see if we can take a little bit different look. The white deer were there just a second ago. Now they've gone back behind the building. So we had lots and lots of animals out there this morning. We'll take a quick peek out front, see if there's anything out there. They were out there eating on the grass. Also, I... Uh, I forget to get up and get fascinated looking at everybody, and I forget to take a picture of it. The lake is gorgeous and beautifully calm. We've got babies around, looky there, right here, I mean right by the deck, right under the deck almost. And there's another one almost right by the deck. Look off down there, got deer off down there. I think that might be Mr. Forrest, looks like. We're beginning to get quite a few bucks that are having some pretty good. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, can you imagine scaring him? Oh, and there's Forrest. He's going to run. Well, I know why Forrest is running. Forrest is thinking Jimmy's getting ready to go around there and throw some feet out. Look at his antlers. Isn't he getting spectacular? <coughs> oh, my goodness. Now yeah, he's going to come up here. He hears me talking. He's going to come up here to me. Isn't he beautiful? But they're out here feeding on the grass this morning. Again, beautiful little deer laying there. I'm telling you, it's just kind of amazing. That's my one of my little does right there. Kind of just look around and force he's going to come around here and see if maybe I'll throw him a carrot or something down there. Is that what you're thinking of, Forrest, if I go get you a carrot? You want me to go get you a carrot, big boy? Look at that. That is just picturesque right there. His antlers just continue to grow. This is getting to be the middle of July. Yes, it is the middle of July. And uh, I guess July got 31 days. I guess we pretty well classify as the middle. He's going to walk under the deck here. He's going to walk right under the deck. <laughs> but it's just an absolutely gorgeous morning. We've got to get out there and fertilize again, try to get all that stuff on the top to die out. Look at the reflection of the lake on the mountain there. Looks like the mountain doesn't end. It just continues down and comes clear across the, to this side. The reflection is just absolutely gorgeous. These dead, calm, beautiful mornings are spectacular. But one thing they mean, it's going to get hot. We're going to be another 100-degree day. We've had I don't know how many hundred degree days. This is already in Oklahoma City, and we're much hotter than Oklahoma City. In Oklahoma City, I think it is the 13th hottest summer ever already. And this is just the middle of July. Now, August usually worse, but clear out 15 days out, we still got 100 degrees every day. But it's a beautiful 68 down here this morning. Just looking at that lake makes me happy. <laughs> oh, golly, I just can't. It just fills my heart, warms it up. <laughs> I don't know just exactly how this is going to work. I've got three, I've got two hands, and I have three hungry babies. And uh, so I'm just going to start here and see what happens. There you go. Hey, baby, you don't want that one? You want that one? Huh? You want that one? <laughs> They're eating about one and a half or two bottles apiece. Whitey, of course, the biggest little whitey, little man, little man, little man said, what about me, Jimmy? What about me, Jimmy? But I've got two of them, I've got two of them going here. I just wanted to kind of set up here early this morning. This is my first time back from feeding them. Obviously, they haven't forgot me. I asked uh, Sherry yesterday, I said, do you think the little man, little whitey, has uh, forgot you? And she says, no, he'll remember me. And I believe he will. You see, he's just going crazy right there. He kind of had his own bottle he wanted. I tried to let him get in there, but he's wanting that other bottle. But these guys are going to clean these out really, really quickly. Wild Child, look how quickly she cleaned that blue one. I think the blue one's got a little bit larger hole in it. I mentioned that before, and it empties out a little quicker. But it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt for him to go ahead and work at it a little bit. 
They're, uh, they're just gorgeous this morning. Come here, guys. Come on up here a little closer. Come on up here a little closer. You can see that I just got them all right here. And uh, the blue bottle is getting emptied out pretty doggone quickly. And that's a little wild child. And uh, she's letting me pet her. She's taming up real good. I'm going to try maybe uh, one evening. We've got a lot of folks coming this week, so I'm going to be tied up in the evenings quite a bit. I'm going to try to let at least let little Whitey out and let him run this evening. Let him out in the yard and hopefully we'll be able to get him back. <laughs> Pretty sure we'd get him back if I let him out before we fed him. Now, little Whitey, do not be chewing any wires there. Do not be chewing any wires. He's thinking about it. Yeah. He reaches around for those wires. They can bite a wire in two really, really quick. Really, really quick. But you look at this right here. Is this special? Now, wild child is just about to end, get hers emptied out. I'm going to go get some more. Well, actually, actually, will you look at there? Lucille emptied hers out before wild child. She was ahead of her, but as it got down toward the end, I guess it got a little more air in there and it started going quicker. They're still wanting more. I'm going to go ahead and put these out through the fence. Put those out over there. And, and little, little man, little man says, oh, I got to have some. Little man, I know. Hey, hey, hey. Come here, little man. Little man, come here, Whitey. Come here, Whitey. Come here. Hey. Hey. You want some milk or not? Well, little Whitey, I'm telling you. Looky here. Wild child's going to drink your milk. <laughs> he who snoozes loses, dude. He who snoozes loses, dude. Wild child, she's getting after it. Uh, wild child's a little bit darker is the only way I can tell her. From, uh, and I'm not sure I'm right. I think that, yeah, that has got to be Lucille right there. I need to look at the numbers. What's your number, girl? 25. I think 25 is Lucille. I think 25. You want some? You going to eat or not? Open your mouth. Hey, hey, you're getting too strong. You got to get something to eat, boy. Okay. Okay. It says, I'll drink it. Boy, you didn't eat anything. You stay away from the wires. Stay away from the wires. Stay away from the wires. <laughs> and you're wanting more, aren't you? You got some more there. You can look a little fat off there. I'm going to go get some more, guys. I'm going to go get some more. Yes, I am. I know you're needing something to eat. I tried to give you some and you wouldn't take it. You want to take it through the fence, is that it? You want to drink something through the fence? They'll drink through the fence now. Just stick the nipple down through the fence and they're ready to drink. We're about to, we're about to run out of these first three bottles and little man, little Whitey, hadn't drank any. You think about you, wild child. Hmm. You're not such a wild child anymore. This little guy right here. The wild child is bigger than Lucille. Lucille is a little girl, going to be a petite little thing. She's going to be a lover, I think, too. I think she's wanting more to eat. And Whitey, you haven't got anything to eat, have you? Well, hey, buddy. Hey, my little Whitey man. Okay, all right, I'm going to go get y'all some more. I'm going to go mix up about three more bottles, and uh, we get out here. These guys want to love, but now Whitey haven't had anything to eat this morning. He hasn't had anything to eat. He's been eating a little bit of bread. He's starting to eat the solid stuff. And, you know, get, we'll wean these guys off, but right now they're still loving these milk. Of course, keep in mind that Whitey's a month older than uh, Lucille and a little bit older than Wild Child. You can see Wild Child messing with the motor out there, and she doesn't mind so much being petted right now. She's, uh, becoming, she's becoming one of my girls, too. Hopefully, I'll be able to let them all three out in the yard, but you never know. We might not be able to get them all three back in here. So, <laughs> stay away from the camera. <laughs> He's so pretty. <laughs> okay, I've got to get more food. Got to get more food. <laughs> there we go right there. That's some that's some dandies. That's some dandies right there. That's drawn to a, a three of a kind right there. That's a, so precious. You guys are so precious. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, we are going to do a little feeding from the outside right now and uh, we know that Whitey hasn't had any so we'll see, we'll see if Whitey will jump on this from the outside. He's not so Whitey's just not wanting to eat this morning Whitey. Whitey he's just not wanting to eat. 
Boy, he was eating just really, really super good. Now he doesn't want to eat at all. Whitey, what's wrong with you this morning, buddy? Huh? I know that you're hungry. I can see looking at you and seeing. Of course, the other ones are eating. The other ones are eating great, as you can see here. They're just going right after it. Just, and these two have already drank a, an entire, well, they had drank in a morning bottle. They've drank in three bottles total. And Whitey has not drank anything yet this morning, so that kind of bothers me. Might try to get some bread and see if he'll eat some bread. Whitey, he usually horns in here and gets, he gets his first. But he's not really, not really wanting to do that at all. And the little girls are just going crazy. Both Lucille and Wild Child are are really eating. And Whitey just doesn't seem, he gets up here a bit, but he just won't get one in his mouth. He's just not taking it. Whitey, are you being a gentleman? Is that what you're doing? Letting the girls eat first? He acts like he wants it, but he just won't ever get it in his mouth and eat it. I don't know. That's not good when they're not eating. We don't like that at all, little, little man. Something happens to you, my Sherry and, Sherry and uh, now she's about had all she wants now. And you can see their little bellies are pooching out. He just will not start. Just like he just doesn't want them. The, re the others are getting full, you can see. They'll finally get to where they're just in and out and just kind of playing with it. How about a brand new bottle, boy? Hmm? Come on. Come on, little whitey. Hey, baby. Hey, baby, he just doesn't feel like eating this morning. He ate really, really good last night. He just doesn't feel like eating this morning. Well, I can see that uh, Wild Child's got a little poop on her on her head there. Don't know how that happened. Probably licking around. Somebody just pooped on her. <laughs> but Wild, uh, Whitey does not want anything to eat this morning. Very, very unusual. I'll come back out here and check him here in a little bit, but uh, that's really, really something that he doesn't want anything to eat. Pretty... Pretty unusual, he's got a whole full bottle. So they ate, <clears throat> this bottle here is pretty pretty much wrecked. It's down to uh, about a third, the other bottle here, pretty much wrecked. So they did three full bottles and, and uh, I'd say, you know, four and a half, something like that probably what it is. But uh, we'll go take this back inside and come back out here and feed them after a while. We have a little bunch of turkeys that showed up there. Uh, Let's see what we have. We have a couple of jakes and a hen. And uh, actually there's another jake right there. So behind that, that's a jake also. Thunder Chicken was here this morning with his big beard that drags the ground. He was out here with the rest of them. We got a little north breeze that's popped up all of a sudden. Uh, it's up here pretty late, 9.30 in the morning. And uh, we have a had a little breeze pop up here that feels pretty good. And it actually feels like it's might drop the humidity a little bit, and I don't know. Uh, they had some sort of little front of some kind around Oklahoma City, and it's only supposed to be 95 degrees in Oklahoma City today. <laughs> only 95. Ha, ha, ha. Yep. But it's supposed to be over 100 here. It was 108 yesterday. We have, uh, you can look out on the 15-day forecast on the Weather Channel app, and uh, it says 100 degrees plus every single day. Most of them are 1, 2, 103, 104. Uh, we have already... I uh, had many, many 100 degree days this year, but uh, turkeys are out there kind of feasting themselves on some of the, some of what the deer left. Well, Patsy showed up this morning after I emptied the feeder and refilled it, so that's good. And uh, we're starting another really hot day, trying to get a lot of stuff done out here early in the morning. She's going to try to do a little video work later this evening. We have company coming in, so we'll have folks here all week and uh, we'll not get to really do much but just simply look at the, the wildlife and not get to shoot too much video. But the ranch is actually burning up uh, from a lack of rain. I mean it's just absolutely horrible. Uh, a lot of our fields are turning yellow. I looked at the yards as I drove down and they're turning yellow also. We haven't had any rain at all since the first two or three days of June and uh, so that's basically six or seven weeks and it's just it's just it's just horrible. We we do water the yard uh, out of the lake. We have a sprinkler system that pulls out of the lake, so that's why our grass stays pretty green around the house here. But 
Well, once you get away from the house, and it looks like the food plots are starting to back up a little bit. I wanted to kind of ride around a little bit and show you, and I still might get a chance to do that. A little bit of the difference between the food plots that we put uh, where we planted Oak Moggy River uh, Buckmaker food plot and put neutral plot on it. Uh, neutral plot, it's just incredible fertilizer and way, way less expensive than just about any fertilizer on the marketplace now. I think fertilizer for $20 an acre. Uh, farmers are buying neutral plot, uh, changing over to their fertilizer and by the droves in the Midwest, and pretty sure he'll be shipping it all over the nation before long. So uh, that's looking at a little band of turkeys this morning, a little uh, break from the deer.